Here we are at the German Feeder Bowl Emporium. No trick photography has been employed here. These are the parts that were given to me by Jason Voitilla of Precision Polymer Products. These are unpost baked parts. We're going to turn the feeder bowl on. We're at a rate of 40%. And we're just going to put these parts right in the old bowl of Rooney here and we'll see what we get. As you can see, our red movie theater velour feeder bowl is just pushing these babies right out of the bowl. No adjustments, no scientific anything, we're just throwing them out. Of course I doubt you could inspect them this fast because they're all bunched together, but this uh, little velour baby really pushes them out. We got a couple here in the in this dead zone in the center and if you'll allow me, well actually they're going out there by themselves, maybe I won't touch them. They're actually going to go out, that's pretty cool. But I imagine we're going to be able to feed all of these parts out of this bowl without any issue whatsoever. Now there was a, track, a piece of track over here that I had taken out because the parts that they were feeding were much smaller in diameter. And so the velvet or velour or brush or whatever you want to call it in this region has been crushed and it is permanently deformed. But the rest of the bowl is in pretty good shape. So we either live with that section the way it is or we try and find this velour from the, the manufacturer. This manufacturer is represented here in the United States so it's possible that we could entice them by saying we would need to buy more bowls in the future. Could they please provide us this to uh, retrofit this bowl? Now this is really pretty amazing because we're actually going to feed every last part out of this bowl including this little tiny piece of cutoff, or no, it's a bug. So either the bug was here in the shop or the bug came from precision, but in any event, we fed every part out of the bowl.